God's rich blessings to you as we enter into another week of devotion time. Today I've entitled our devotion, Blessed is the One. And I invite you to listen to Psalm 32, verses 1 and 2. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. I ran across this psalm again recently, and it reminded me of how it is that we live and move and have our being. As we've entered into another week, just a couple of days ago, in God's house and hearing his word and receiving his gifts. What a way to say it. I know you hear me say that a lot, to receive God's gifts. His word, what a great gift. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Paul says in Romans chapter 6. And so, so this is it. This is the gift that God gives to us to declare to us again, we are blessed because our transgression is forgiven and our sin is covered. God doesn't ignore sin and unrighteousness. He himself came to bear it, to carry it, to lift it off of you and to have you enabled to hear and to, to take in and to, to grasp and believe. It's for you. You are blessed. We are blessed because the Lord has covered our iniquity and promises that he holds on to us day by day. So no matter what, like I said, I just wanted to bring this one to your attention today, this passage. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. You may encounter today, tomorrow, a spirit in whom there is some deceit, uh, a loved one who lets you down, someone who offends you, something that goes wrong. It's going to happen on this side of the grave. But what we, again, cling to is God's promise that he's holding on to us, that we are blessed because in Christ we are made his own. And we are promised the blessing of his spirit, the power of his presence in his word. And so our lives of response are given over to surrender, to following, to obeying, and, and living by faith and not by sight. I invite you to listen to a hymn from the sanctification section of our hymnal. This is number 707. Oh, that the Lord would guide my ways. Oh, that the Lord would guide my ways to keep his statutes still. Oh, that my God would grant me grace to know and do his will. Order my footsteps by thy word and make my heart sincere. Let sin have no dominion, Lord, but keep my conscience clear. Assist my soul too apt to stray, a stricter watch to keep. And should I e'er forget thy way, restore thy wandering sheep. Make me to walk in thy commands, tis a delightful road. Nor let my head or heart or hands offend against my God. I invite you to pray. We thank you, Lord, that you have made us yours. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray, as we ask your blessing upon us this day and our lives of living for you. In your name we pray. Amen. God be with you till we meet again.